It's June out here and we're going to make an attempt to catch some channel catfish right here in the middle of the day. And that's actually a little bit easier than you might think if you have the right gear and the right bait. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a dropper rig that I tie, very simple, and we're going to let the weight sit on the bottom and that bait, which will be uh, a live bait, either a bluegill or a threadfin shad, sit just above the bottom as we hold the rod tight. And these catfish tend to hold a little bit closer to the bottom than the bass do most of the time. And this will be right in front of their eyes. They'll come up and they'll, they'll hit it. They're actually pretty particular though uh, in the summertime, for whatever reason, in the daytime, they prefer live bait. They don't, even, they don't like it once it's dead. So you, you either need to cut it or you need it alive, but just dead doesn't work very well. Don't know why, but that's just the way it is. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. We're just gonna throw it out there and hopefully we'll have some good luck. Tend to throw these baits off pretty easy. So the way you cast me, you just gotta be kind of smooth, come back and just kind of, you can throw it as far as you want, but you have to be real smooth with the, with the cast. So we're gonna throw back behind the boat. Something like that right there. I'll know as soon as I turn the handle on him. I'll tell you one thing, it's loaded right there. There's a bunch of something right there. This might be a channel catfish here. I don't think he's a very big one, but I think he's the right species. It's a smaller one. But it is indeed a channel catfish. Great to eat and really fun to catch. Yeah, on this rig, you have the capability of catching three different kinds of catfish, a largemouth bass. I even catch an occasional bowfin. Uh, but but if, it, if it swims in here and eats shad, you've got a chance to catch it. I even catch very large crappie on these big sheds sometimes, big white perch. So it's, a, it's an all around great rig to catch everything that swims in here. And, oh, there he is, see, see the line? Now he's got it. It's either a large channel cat or a bass, but I believe it's gonna be a channel. If it jumps, it's a bass. If it doesn't, it's gonna be a catfish. Yeah, I believe it's a big channel cat, or at least just a nice size one. There we go, that's about an average size out here. There we go. And that's what you can expect to catch on live bait in the middle of the day. Yeah. The rig I'm tying, this dropper rig, is tied with a 20 pound fluorocarbon. And the main couple reasons that I use it is, of course, fluorocarbon is fairly, fairly invisible under the water. But just as important for me, the 20 pound test gives it that bit of stiffness that, that keeps that hook out from the line just a little bit. And then, of course, it provides a very tough, tough rig. So if you're around logs or rocks or gill plates or anything, it holds up very well. Another key element is the circle hook that I use. That's a three-aught circle hook and very important. Uh, you hardly ever lose a fish with it and it does very little damage to them. They don't swallow it very, very often. And the way I attach the circle hook is also very important to me. And I, I use a little, a small loop knot, which will maybe a little bit hard to see, but a uh, little loop knot, and what that does is it allows that hook to have a lot of movement. Since I'm using live baits, I like that bait to be able to move in different directions down there. And also, with the circle hook, when the fish has it in its mouth and, and is fighting and turns, the, it kind of turns with it. So it never gets any resistance to try and get a hook to be able to throw it. So once it's in there, it's in there. And that's just the basic, basic elements here. I don't use any hardware. I just tie a uni to uni, a little double uni knot here and uh, keep it super simple. Little bell sinker, 3 8 ounce, nothing to it. 